we've not even completed one week in the month of October and a lot of mm. things have begun to unfold. Mm -hmm. Like, how interesting is it to know that the second woman that can bring the video to church, apart from his sister, is Chi! Chi! <laughs> really, you can bring the video to church? Yes, now. I so just brought him to church before, because I'm, I'm... Yes, there was one time that a video came out, I think it was before COVID, mm. that his sister took him to a church and they were... Was it before COVID? I think it was before COVID. Oh, and, nice. you know, yeah, then now this one came out that uh, over the weekend, Shoma took the video to church and, hmm. you know, people instead of looking and focusing on God... <laughs> <laughs> they're we're doing selfie videos we're so 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 uh, in the middle of service. you know there's a lot to talk about today on Fuse on Butter guys welcome to the show the gang is here my name is A.B.A. Kins hi guys my name is Matichi here's always <laughs> hello beautiful people it's Gabby Gabby in the building we have so much to gist with you mm -hmm. about all you have to do is to stick around after the short break we will be right back with all the juice for you that's right I used to care for the world's opinion. Next. I used to fear their rejection. I used to beg for validation. And I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter. And the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power is now. I'm still mortar. Be your best. Fuse unbuttered. So I think the, the rest of the month is going to be very interesting because we have a feeling that a lot is about to unfold for Davido hmm. and Shoma. Hmm. But do you think this is stunt or is actually feelings that are coming back to, you know... <laughs> you know to rekindle I'm themselves part of, I'm, I'm part of one of their major online in-laws oh and i cannot hide it i i'm completely rooting for chairman david there was one way um, a couple of weeks back a video of them you know surfaced online and then mm. we saw chioma at the backstage you know supporting him yeah. and he was like she wasn't expecting that that video you yeah. know she, she was caught off guard when that video was taken yeah. so that's since then we've been seeing them making appearances yeah we saw together. a video of them in the so club recently nice. When she was spraying David, you know, she was... That was the second time. Yeah, she was putting on 002 neck piece. Yes, yes. Um, hello, first of all, he's like giant... Well, see, at this point, I really, I really don't care. Like, I mean, Choma and David, they've been on and off. I mean, we even got to a, we got to a point where we're like, okay, you know what? I think we're, they're no longer together, right? Yeah. But whenever David is about to release a single or release a vi music video or How release an album, so, so, there is always Marichi, an appearance Marichi, of Choma... Madiji thinks it might be somewhat. I, I basically think it's Pierre. Pierre, okay. That's all. Wow. I, I'll take it. And uh, was it was this uh, chief priest? Kubana chief priest is always in their midst. I think they are, they have some level of friendship. He's really close to Choma. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he calls her my sister. Yeah. sister. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But a friend, industry friendship is actually very dicey, hmm. and uh, that's something that uh, people will. People will always root for their industry friend online <laughs> and, you know, try to show that they are there for the friend. But when but push reality. comes to sure, are they really like, you know, really friends or mm -hmm. it's just some social media banter or it's just for the public eye to see? Um, I mean, if I should mention a couple of celebrities that we know have gen some level of genuine friendship, I could say Amaomi and Waje. I could say Adesua Etomi and Jemima uh, Osunde Walenti. and she has yeah she's very close with Jemima Osunde and uh, Linda Ejof uh, Linda uh, formerly Ejofo uh, formerly Ejofo now Ibrahim now Ibrahim now oh Ibrahim. thank Ibrahim. you thank you okay so but I think there's another one that I know um, that their friendship is like really really close I'll say Bolani Olukoni and, and uh, Zena Balogu Zena Balogu yeah that yeah, friendship yeah. I love that, it, it looks like, very I then Ebuka Banky W and Captain Demoran. 
Hmm. They seem to have this really close friendship as well. Triangle that is. Yeah, but yeah. generally, I feel like it's not very. Um, it's not easy to find like genuine friendship in the industry. Hmm. You know, you find some people that appear to look like they're very close, hmm. and then they are actually competing against each other, yeah. low key. You know, and it just sort of reminds me of what Harry Song said very recently. Yeah. And he was he was I think on an interview where he was talking about you know how industry friendships are, and he says, "See, I don't have any real friends in the industry." And he even goes ahead to name drop. He was mentioning yeah. some people's names saying, if you see me with this person, you're going to say that, you know, I'm a very close friend with, he mentioned yeah, Soso Soberico. Yeah, he was like, you say, say, I'm a close friend to Soso Soberico, but we're not friends. And he, he went ahead to even say that Soso did something to him recently. He sent someone after him. 90% all the friendships are my guy, my G, all are fake. There are people that I've been working with for years. I'm telling you for years. If you call their name, they will say, ah, no, no, every guy be this. Mm. They know be my guys. Mm -hmm. mm. They be my... See, as, as a matter of fact, those are the, my real enemies. If you see Soso now, you say Soso now my friend, Abi. Wow. Well, Soso is not my friend. He's my enemy. Wants to kill. He sent people to come and kill in Portacourt. No jokes. Or something like that. That's hard, man. So That's when it comes serious. To, when it comes to industry friendship, entertainment friendship generally, I feel like what a lot of people have are more of colleagues and acquaintances see i mean with the way with the way um the nigerian music um, industry has evolved nobody wants to be there cheering everybody wants there's, there's there's sort of a competition between artists so me calling you my friend it's not because i don't like you or anything as much as i'm looking out for you i'm also looking out for myself because no. i don't want to always be okay i follow you somewhere i'm the one clapping which is i mean we see a lot of people do that yeah. but in this Nigerian music industry, Not just industry, 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 industry in general. Industry, and it's the entertainment industry globally in Nigeria, I feel like people have more of colleagues. It's really hard. I mean, like, I would say if it's up to 20%, safe, I doubt. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like let us just do because a lot of people don't understand me and your friend because you know someone today, you probably go record something with someone, you do a collaboration with somebody, that person automatically becomes my friend. Mm. Nah, friendship is deeper. It takes a lot to actually call someone a friend. So yeah. So I personally agree with Ari Songs. Not everybody. Madishi, am I your friend? Not everybody. Madishi, am I your friend? Your friend. <laughs> Moving on, well guys. Done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Moving on. Gabby, I'm your friend. Abby, you're my friend. Abby, yes. yeah. 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 I'm your friend. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I know my friends and they know me. Abby, you're my friend. friend. No, I'm not your friend again. Oh, Madi, you're my friend. I don't know. Are you for real? I don't know. Deny me on. So, guys. Wow. Can we move on, guys? Please. Okay. Multina. Share happiness. Views unbothered. So technology, social media has evolved over the years, especially when it comes to um, like the music industry we're talking about, right? Now, um, when it comes to Africa, I feel like we we are not really competing with any African country. Yes, we can say yes, we're contributing. Um, we're conscious. I beg your pardon. We are competing globally, but when it comes to Africa, I feel like Nigeria has an edge. Nigerian music musicians have an edge, right? So recently, Shatawale, I mean, Ghanaian artist Shatawale came out to talk about how the Nigerian industry has evolved, how um, Nigerian artists are breaking grounds and all that. Now, comparing it to the Ghanaian music, music industry, industry yeah. um, he came out to say that it's, it's more like they are involved in religious cultural stories. I don't know how he put it, but he actually, like, he actually tamed I think the Ghanaian music industry down, oh, right? Oh. And um, Chatawale has come out with different things. I mean, it's not the first time he's coming out to talk about Nigerian music industry. In 2020, sometimes in October, he also spoke about it. He's always talking about Yeah, Nigerian it's always. Music. I mean, Chatawale is, is now, um, what's it called? Portable's twin, if you'd ask yeah. me, right? Sometimes he's an antagonist, sometimes he's a protagonist, sometimes he's yeah. defending us, sometimes he's yeah. against us. He gives us content, basically. Yeah. So, like, when it comes to Nigerian music industry, do you think I'm going by what Shatawale said. How do you think? How how would you react to that? I, I don't think it's okay for him to always keep criticizing the guy. He doesn't always. Like he has this. I don't know what if is there's this comparison that he does, which is not so healthy, for, especially for someone that that well. I mean, he's known for his controversies. Uh -huh. Shatawale is very very prominent for being controversial in everything he's doing. Just now. but for I mean the Ghana music industry is somewhat. It's an extension of Nigerian music really? industry. Yes. So uh, you, you put Ghanaian over Tanzanian music, South African music. Do you listen to Tanzanian music? Yes, of I do. Of course, I like some um, Okay, so I don't, I know, I don't DJ, know. What's his name again? Uh -huh, I can't uh -huh, remember. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That was key something. Uh -huh. I can't remember. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, I yes, seriously. To. The only person that is very popular to me. Now, this is me. All right. 
I mean, I cannot be everybody. I feel like apart from di- diamond platiniums, I don't really know. There's anybody. uncle. There's uncle. There's, Waf- there's what's his Waffles. name? There's Ali Kiba. Ah. Yeah. yeah, there is. I can't, I can't wow. remember. Uh, okay, so, so but the way you are. I mean, it, it, it's taking you time to remember the Tanzanian you know, artists. The, Hold on, let me finish I, now. Stop, stop. On the top of your head, you can mention stop. 10 Ghanaian artists. Really? I only know Sarko Divi, actually. Oh, that's a lie. Yeah, I know Sarko Divi. I know Sarko Divi. I know, know uh, Stoneboy. You know, you know Stoneboy, huh? Mm-hmm. Just, I you know Jackie. Ghanian, you know Ghanian Jackie. are closer to Nigerians. You know Jackie. You know this guy that has a song with um, uh, Mayoko. So me, you go like me, see? I, see, I, didn't even know, I know the so, song by yeah, the way. He's now. Uh, we can keep going. You know King Promise. You know R2Bs. Maybe you know You them. know um, Becca. You know... Like, we can keep going on. So, it's an extension of Nigerian mm. music industry. So, I don't... I'm not really appreciative of the fact that this guy is always trying to downplay the efforts of Ghanians that the are... Only, I, the only, I, the only, I think the what, what's happening here, basically, is Shatawali just saying that, you know, Nigerians are showing us the way, you mm-hmm. know, as Ghanians. He's saying, yeah. you know, Ghanians have a lot to learn from Nigerian yes, which is okay. industry. Which is so in the okay. times past, he has said it, you know, the other way around where yeah. it's like, oh, we are selling out. I remember sometime in December last yeah. year, it was like, <laughs> we're selling out our Ghanaian, you know, yes. um, what's it called? <laughs> halls, State, yeah, yeah, Ghanaian halls. Nigerians, you can't do that. We don't need you, basically. Yeah. Now he's come around to say something we, entirely that different. That we should look, they should look at us. Exactly. Doing. You know what, guys, we'll right back after the short break. When we get back, we have more tea for you. Don't move a muscle. I used to care for the world's opinion. Next. I used to fear their rejection. I used to beg for validation. And I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter. And the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power is now. Amstel Mortar, be your best. <laughs> Mortina, share happiness. Views unbothered. Recently, there's been um, this the wave of Afrobeat music is all over the globe. People s- love African um, singers, especially those who are singing, you know, Afrobeat music, mm-hmm. especially Nigerian artists. And one of the biggest, you know, in this current moment is Ashake. Everybody loves Ashake. Ashake. Say Ashake. Ashake. <laughs> say Ashake. Ashake. Good. What did I say before? Okay, so Ashake. Everybody loves Ashake. Now, recently, um, he came out. Um, no, recently, we we knew that he sold out O2, O2 Arena yeah. you know, yeah, in London, yeah, you know, yeah. for three different dates. In and London. this, yes, yeah. O2 Arena. Not, not the. Not the tour. Not the O2. So the O2 has like different halls. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So they are like different type of. I mean, there's like a twenty thousand capacity okay. there's like the two so what, what capacity there, is this one no, it was, it's not the one of five thousand it's not the one of five thousand no, it's like those other um mm. smaller smaller ones, ones. Yeah, but smaller regardless ones. this but it's this not was like only small, a period of it's five big, minutes yeah. like or, or yeah, less yeah. and for three different dates in december yeah. so it's, it's actually record breaking yes honestly and we're looking forward to that but very recently on, on a store in u.s he was somewhere in Atlanta and yeah, he made Atlanta. a performance on stage where he brought a goat on a goat stage. On stage yeah. And everybody was talking about that. He made a why? statement. Yes. Why are you bringing a goat to the stage, sir? Yeah, I, I mean, we know. Ashake, what, what is it all about? Controversy works for him. So, no, so he, I don't, I don't, he's, he's, doing it, he's doing it well. Ashake has, Ashake has a lot to offer this industry and we're yeah, all for I, that. I agree. Ashake has a lot to give and it, people have a, people are thirsty to consume whatever you give to them. As an artist, it's, not, it's now beyond your music. Now, social media has allowed you to be able to connect with people with whatever content you're putting on. Fashion-wise, is there. Hmm. When he's dropping snippet, is there. Yeah. Consistency is there. So, did he go Stage too far? Stage delivery is there. Did he go too far with bringing a goat? I, I really don't think so. I feel like maybe maybe he went too far because it's a goat. Hmm. But as a musician, you're allowed to express yourself either way. This is United States and there's something called animal cruelty and abuse. Uh, well, and that's... It does brought a goat on stage. He brought girls on stage and it was... Rock. I think he brought out one girl. Maybe the girl was thinking he was going to rock her Johnny... Jo- rock, he was going to rock her Johnny Drew style or maybe like, you know, Omalay style. 
Oh my, I shall get turn around. You know, my guy went all you know. Wow. He went all wrong. Not surprised when he comes to Ashake. Oh my god! But I, lo- I love the guy. Big shout out to Ashake. I mean, his album debuted on Billboard, and that's actually big for an artist that is that is blow up. Let me use that word. His blow up is less than three years, and mm. he's already doing so much. Numbers. Yeah, guys, we love you so much, and we really want to say big shout out to every of our fans and listener out there that has been. Subscribing to our YouTube channel and Join following us. up. Yeah. See, we love you guys uh, and we see you, we feel you, we read your messages. And uh, thank you for hanging out with us. My name is Avia Kent. My name is Madichi. My name is Gabrielle. And from all of us here in the studio, stay views, guys. Upfront and personal, world class business, world class consultants.